Hey YouTube, this is Nash Taters. Welcome back to another episode of War of the Visions. It is Happy Wednesday, so happy Wednesday to everybody. And uh, I woke up early and saw all of this good stuff. So I'm gonna be doing my daily UR guaranteed. And by the way, you cannot stack it. So therefore you have to do it every day. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna be doing that at the end of the video. So let's get to talking about all the new stuff coming. All right, let's do it. All right, so let's begin the mock shop. So this is the first thing that I noticed. The UR unit pieces, a UR guaranteed unit summon ticket if you have 60 of these pieces. Now, I don't know how you're going to earn these other than getting these for free. Well, I'll show you where to get them in a little bit. Other than that, that's not much going on in the mock shop, actually. So that means the event is not going to be involving the mock shop. So let's go right into the shop. And let's go ahead and take out the six month anniversary. And here we go, guys. Two daily free UR unit pieces. So here we go. You get two of these for free every single day. Now, obviously there's other ways to get these pieces because you need 60 of these pieces. Something brand new. So this is a free to play account, so I'm not gonna cover any of this stuff. In my spenders corner, however, I will discuss all of this new stuff that's coming to this game by looking at all the paid uh, packages. All we're gonna do is look at anything that is gonna be using free jams. Six months, anniversary, rainbow pack. Mm, definitely don't buy this. this. This is probably not really worth it. Because they are they just gave us tons of this stuff. So maybe to players that really want this, but personally I wouldn't really recommend this unless you have a lot of excess gems. Okay, so I would definitely perhaps recommend this if you have excess gems. Job training pack, this is kind of nice, but definitely not worth 5,000 gems. You can farm everything in this entire thing pretty easily, actually. And in the future, they're going to be increasing the hero's memories. So something to think about. Definitely don't spend 5,000 gems on that. Yeah, definitely don't bother with that. That's easy mode. This, I don't think is worth really a million gold. This is super easy to get. Even for a beginner, this is easy to get. However, that being said, if you have tons of gold, maybe, even then, I wouldn't really recommend this. It does save you some energy, but I don't know. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. Uh, this is definitely not worth 5,000 gems. Please don't buy this. This is ridiculous. This is not really worth it, either. Growth eggs for 1,000 gem? Eh. This is, could be a hit or miss, but... I would say not really, unless you have a lot of units built and you're trying to really maximize your cards. This is not really worth it either, to be honest, because this is barely anything in terms of increasing. But in exchange for energy for eggs is actually not too shabby if you have a good amount of gold, which you should. This is maybe, this is actually really good for beginners, actually. Let me take that back. This is really great for beginners. For the rest of us who've been playing this game for a long time, most likely not really worth it. These pots, yes, for anybody, buy these pots. So, Super Stern, his unit shards are gonna be doubled. So this premium unit, so there you go, 4,000 for 40 shards. Enjoy that, by the way. Our future unit is gonna be Venera and Ziza. So a great time for those of you who need to finish Ziza. I'm finished on both of my Pay to win, excuse me, my spender's account and my free to play, so I'm good on her shards. Vision card still here, and today is water day. Don't, pick, don't forget to pick up your Eldara shards if you have her, if you're lucky enough to get her. Now let's take a look at the summons. There's a lot to talk about. Again, I will not go over anything that's paid because I'll be covering all of that on my spender's account. So summons, same here. Feature card, same here. Six months, we have the Ziza we talked about, and Venera. Two-step, that's paid, not gonna cover it. This is paid, not gonna cover it. So this, I'm a little disappointed. Check this out. They decided to throw Dumbass Stern in there in comparison to Sexy Stern. So Dumbass Stern and Sexy Stern. In my opinion, this is kind of a dick move. 
because check this out. Let me take that back a little bit, two steps back here, okay? For those of you who want Stern, he's at a 0.8%, okay? I don't agree with this move. I really feel like this is potentially robbing people. You know what I'm saying? Because chances are this percentage, obviously, is better than this percentage. So I didn't really think that would make this kind of move. I think this kind of really slaps even spenders in the face. Like, why put this turn here? Just to kind of like troll people, I feel like. Maybe I'm looking at it from a negative perspective, but I don't see a reason why they should be here. The only thing I could think of is the new trial reckoning does recommend using Stern. So I, I still can't support this idea. This is, in my opinion, kind of a not worth it. Not, not a good move, to be honest, man. But if you do have a max gauge, you get a 5% chance of Stern. But look at that. You're most likely going to be getting Stern all the time. Unless RNG is on your side. This is, oh, I can't be begin to... To comprehend how many people are going to be pissed about this to be honest all right so the mr this is the last day going on so most of us free to play players are not going to be able to get ur so not a big thing but this is the guaranteed free ur guaranteed for your ur unit today so i'm going to do this at the end of the video let's finish talking about the rest of the stuff events this is kind of like go over quickly here Countdown quest, don't forget to do those. Reckoning, I'm gonna go over in detail. I managed to do some stuff on it already, so I kinda learned the, the kinda like what to do already. I didn't really look at any of the JP content creators uh, videos for this, so I'm kinda going in cold, but I have an idea sort of what it's supposed to be doing. Again, hard quest, if you got him, good luck with that, by the way. <laughs> what a slap in the face, man. Come on, Square and Gumi, just when everyone was applauding you guys for doing such a great job with your game, you decided to throw this little wrench. We'll see. We'll see how many complaints they're going to be getting from this summoning banner from the spenders. Because if the spenders get up and walk away, I think this game is going to be in trouble. All right. Chocolate fun. Make sure you guys do this. You got one week. Emerald Purple Prince, yada, yada, yada. These are all still good for one week. By the way, I work really hard to finish my Coral Sword on my Spenders account. Oh my god, you can't believe it. I literally almost spent the entire day finishing it. Boy, I should never make that mistake again, ignoring it in the beginning. I don't think I really ignored it though, but I underestimated how many of those stupid lightning things you needed to craft it. I just had enough to craft a, a, craft a plus 5 Coral Sword, so at least I got it done. But man, it was a pain, and I'm okay with it for now. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm okay with that, but there's a lot of stuff brewing in the back of my mind. A lot of stuff in my uh, consciousness that I'm pushing it back, so. All right, let's see. Only thing I'm really hoping for, honestly, is uh, uh, Kido Fei. Yeah, because I need her, I don't have her. Eldira is in here? Actually, I think Eldira is in here, so. Eldira, Kirufe, I have pretty much literally everybody else. I don't want Victor, I don't want Kitoma, I don't want any of those units because I don't have a need for them to be honest. So I'm very specific right now. I'm very nitpicky. So I'm gonna go with Kirufe with bus, really. Unless of course they just give me shards of somebody that I already need to work on. But I bet you twenty dollars is gonna be uh Ziza. I think I'm gonna bet 20 bucks right now. Slap it down. Just kidding, I can't bet. That's probably illegal on YouTube. Taking it back, I'm not betting anything. I'm just kidding. But by the way, since I've been playing the Trial Reckoning, it it definitely seems like something you can skip, to be quite honest with you. Like, if you don't care about the ribbon. Oh, wow, love, yes, I need that. If you don't care about the ribbon, Okay, it's definitely, I would recommend just not go through the heartaches, but at the same time, maybe you can just farm a few. Uh, farming plus five would be very tedious and very hard, I think, because super stern gives you the most points, by the way. Here we go. <laughs> what did I say, guys? Of course, they're going to give me Ziza after I maxed her out. 
Uh, I wonder if there's someone sitting behind him, behind the, the computer at Square Enix. They're like, oh, this motherfucker is about to summon. Let's do it. <laughs> Troll his ass and press that button. Boom, Ziza button. They press the Ziza button. But I hope you guys have much better luck than me on your free daily UR guaranteed summons. Tomorrow is going to be a UR vision card. So maybe I'll get a little bit better luck than that. But again, the only thing I'm really perhaps looking for is Tetra Silphid at this point. So, all right, I think that's all the time for this happy Wednesday. And take care of yourself, all your loved ones. Make sure you use your time wisely because that is your most valuable resource. And uh, Nash Taters and his family out. Peace.